Welcome though everyone. Welcome to the Dinda Collections channel. My name is Kathy, owner of Dinda Collections, and today I will be showing you how to make my version of the compatible dress. So, um, yesterday I was over at Joanne's and um, I got stretch or knit fabric, stretching knit fabric. Um, this is about two and a quarter yards long. Um, I'm a small size, so I didn't think I was gonna need more. Though before, well, I made this dress before, and I got um, about three yards, which fit perfectly. Um, although the the straps, whenever I tie them, they would end up reaching my um, my knees. Though I could have trimmed it, but I just wanted to leave it. But now I want to do something um, s different, smaller, and. Anywho, let's just see how it turns out. I'm, I'm, um, I'm going to be making it quite differently from how other people are making it. I'm hoping to achieve like 16 different looks with this. And how I'm going to do that is, first and foremost, I am going to make detachable straps. And um, there's a way I have it in my head that I want to put it on fabric. So right now I really can't explain it very well. However, I will tell you that we'll be securing it to um, the other part, the skirt part, with Velcro. And yeah, like I said, I really hope it works. The other thing I'm going to be doing differently is I will do two skirts. I'll do a circle skirt and I will do a pencil skirt. So when I feel like having flares and, 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 and you know, the because the fabric is really um, stretchy and, and, and light, you know, the way it just flows, flowy sort of look, I will be wearing the circle skirt. When I feel like having something a little clingy, hugging my body, I will uh, be wearing the uh, pencil skirt. And, and I will also make them in a way that you can still wear them without the straps, so you can uh, accessorize with other things, a top, um, a tank top, or whatever it is. So yeah, um, we'll get started and I will take you through all the steps. And um, after that, I mean today I'm just being a little ambitious and I, I hope this works out. But I was also going to make um, jewelry that will go with this particular um, outfit and a clutch bag. A, le a full leather clutch bag. So let's see how the day goes. It's, I know it's really going to be busy and I'm also in the middle of doing other things around the house. I'm doing laundry. Um, at least right now my husband is asleep so when he wakes up I'll probably you know have to you know tend to him and stuff like that. Anywho yeah let's see how today goes and if it works out yay to me and I hope he will enjoy what I have to present to you. This next part you will need to lay out your fabric right sides together um, lengthwise. So for me from end to end that's two and a quarter inches wide. And folding it will enable you to cut out the um, the straps just once. So when I cut this out, at least I'll have two um, pieces of that particular um, part that I'm going to cut out. All right. So you need to have the width of the straps, and to get that, you will measure from the middle of your chest over your breast over the widest part of your breast to the middle of your armpit. Um, I've gotten this, I got this from um, some of the blogs that I've been reading actually for the past six months because that's how long it's been since I made my first compatible dress and the things that I didn't like and I'm going to show you as I sew it what parts I didn't like and how I'd like to modify them. So yes, um, so I will measure out eight and a half inches on here and the other thing is that I'm not going to put any seam allowance because this is stretching material so um, I'll probably hem it, I probably won't hem it, we'll see but you probably just need a little bit to just you know make your edges look neater and whatnot. so for this part you will need your tap measure, your pair of scissors, your scotch tape and um, your chalk and a ruler which is optional. I like having my my lines straight and yeah so I just use this to join the points as I mark them. So yeah I'll be right back as soon as I cut out the straps. So 
The next thing that we're going to cut out is the pencil cut. And I've already marked it out and how I did that is First and foremost, we're going to cut on the fold so that we have two parts of the scat. Um, I went ahead and measured um, my waist, round the smallest part of, part of my waist, and I got 25 and a half. So divide that by two, that's 12 and a quarter, and I marked it right here. And then um, I also got the length of the scat, or I measured the length of the scat, and I wanted it to be slightly below my knee and that was 23 inches long and I marked it right here and I drew out um, the pattern of it so what I'm going to do is cut it out and then um, the next thing I'm going to cut out is the waistband of this cut and since I already know my waist measurement I will just cut out um, a band that is um, 4 inches wide and 25 and a half inches long um, and then I'll be right back to show you how to cut out this cut and I'm ready to cut out my circle cut and how I'm going to do that is I already measured the width of this particular fabric that I have left and that was 21 and a half inches wide so I took that and multiplied it by two and I got my l the length of how much fabric I need so I really don't want any wastage of this material because I don't have much of it and in case I need to cut out something else, um, I would want, you know, part of it um, to remain and it also to be usable. So that is why I'm trying to utilize as much space as I can or as much fabric as I can. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is cut out or, or mark out how long I want my scat to be and I want it to be. Um, about that long, let's say 21, between 20 and 21, because it's just going to be a little, um, somewhere in, um, maybe it will reach my middle, you know, middle part of my knee, which is good enough for this. So I'm going to mark that out, um, and here I taped the, the tape measure, and I'll first show you probably one how I do it on one half of this fabric. So I think I'll stick with 21. So there. And I'm trying to anchor where the, the tape so that with my knee so that um it doesn't come off. You can also use a piece of thread to do this. So so here I'm just joining the points and then mark them up. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing to this part, to this other side, then I'll be back to show you how to cut out or how to mark out your waist. Alright, so I'm back and what I have done is hemmed my two straps um, side and side and I ironed the hems down to just give it a more neater look. So what I'm going to do right now is um, sew the straps together 
and from what I've read from other blogs is that you need to have an overlap of about three to four inches and I am going to do my overlap with four inches so there it is this is my starting point that's where it ends um, on the seam so next I'm going to take the other um, the other um, strap and um, I will pin it down I'll put it and I'll just pin it over no, actually what I'm going to do this looks easier I'm going to pin it right there so after I pin I will sew like half an inch seam alright so I have already um, sewn the two straps together with an overlap of four inches now I have not seen anybody doing this so I'm just doing this out of what is going on in my head from my formula that I have in my head and I need to state that I am not a professional uh, seamstress in any way shape or form I just learn every day and I, sometimes I spend months just reading about a particular project until I you know I mask myself into it has body and soul and create this way how I want to look at sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work and I hope this one is going to work because it's been six months just researching and reading blogs and blogs so yeah let's just hope for the best anyway so after um, sewing the two panels together I will measure the width and that would be 10 and a, and a quarter inches long so right now I, I want to work on the waist the two waistbands and um, what I've done here is I have just folded one waistband into half and then I'm gonna fold it again in half so this is how it should sit on the cut and on my waist as well so I will measure the distance from end to end and that's about 11 so what I will do what I'm thinking in my head of doing is um, sewing on um, the velcro so I will have like the soft side right here from end um, on one end and then on the other end and then the opposite side of the velcro I will sew it to the end of my straps right here so when I wear it so this this is going to sit on the scotch right and then the velcro is going to be here so when it sits on it it will just stick together like that whenever I need to maybe um, wear or have an outfit that has the straps um, and then if I don't then I will wear this cut with a different top so um, let me work on this and then I'll come back and show you how it looks and then I'm going to do it for both um, waistbands and then from there we will um, attach the waistbands to the respective scats So I'm done doing the waistband and I sewed the raw sides together to form a two inch waistband like that. 